Hi, Matt Chris Boyer with Sweet Locks Academy. Uh, today we're going to be going over the cone cover drill. Uh, this will work on hand speed and getting down on the ball. Uh, this drill can be done with by yourself or with a partner. Uh, let's see. It. Uh, I'm going to use terminology for this. We're going to use uh, fire for dropping to the ball and reset to set back up. Reset. Fire. Reset. Fire. Reset. All right, now we're going to vary it. And we're going to go left and right. Here we go. Left. Reset. Left, reset, right, reset. Cap of the cone cover drill. Uh, remember we're looking to get fast hands and dropping down fast. Um, our terminology for this drill is fire and reset. Uh, once we advance the drill a little bit, we're gonna be looking for the goalie to go left and right and kind of keeping him guessing. Uh, cone digs, uh, this drill is again to go over our hand speed and really getting low on the ball. Uh, you'll see uh, your hand's gonna get a lot lower to the ground than it normally does when, when your hands are on your side. All right, here's the cone digs drill. Uh, we're looking to get our hands really low for this drill. So he's actually gonna be uh, in goalie ready position and actually reaching down and driving the ball from inside of the cone here. Take a couple looks. Again, we're gonna use the same terminology of uh, Fire and reset. Fire. Reset. Now he's going to place that ball right back to the cone. Fire. Reset. Fire. Reset. Fire. Reset. Recapping the cone digs drill here. Uh, remember, we're looking for hand speed and getting as low as we possibly can to the ball. Uh, today, we're going to be going over a whack and ball drill. I do a three part progression whack and ball drill here. So the first part of this progression, uh, we want the goalie to be basically as close as he can to the goal. We don't really want him to use his feet for the first portion of this, just his hands. So as I say fire, he's gonna tag the top right corner or his stick side, and then after five, we'll rep offside. Let's see it. Fire, fire, fire. Good, let's drive your head to that corner, please. Good. Yep, like that, exactly. Ready? Fire, good, fire, good. Now let's do opposite. Fire, 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 fire. Good. Now let's take one step back. This is the second portion of the drill here. Now we have him one step away from the cage and we're working the second progression or his hands and his feet. Here we go. Fire. Yep. You see how one foot's moving? We're not trailing that second foot just yet. Fire. Good. Let's go opposite here. Fire. Reset. Fire. Reset. All right. Now let's take one more step back. Now we're going into the full version of the drill. We want our goalies to look like they would normally do it during a save. He should have half of his body lined up with the, with this pipe right here and the opposite side when he goes opposite. Set, fire. Good, nice trail. Set, fire. Good, reset. Going opposite here. Fire. Good. Fire. Good. Black and bold three-part drill here. Uh, remember our first one, we're close enough to the cage where we're just trying to tag and use our hands. Then we're going to go into the second portion where we're using our hands in our one step. And then we're going to take another step back and we're going to be using our entire full body approach or attacking the pipe. Thanks guys. We're going to be going over the pipe to pipe drill. All right, so we're going over the pipe, the pipe to pipe drill. First thing we want to do and the thing we want to emphasize the most is just drop stepping. So we want to use our, our drop step or our terminology here is drop step. We're going to drop this foot around to the middle. Our heel wants to get behind our other heel so we can explode out to the other pipe. Again, it looks heel, explode out. All right, here's a goalie. Nope. Recapping the pipe to pipe drill here. Two things you want to think about here is pushing off your outside leg and drop stepping your other one. Uh, today we're going to be doing a simple one, a fan favorite, just some juggling. Excellent. Recap and juggling here. Uh, this is a simple hand eye coordination drill. Uh, you want to continue to get better and better with your hands, uh, juggling three balls, maybe even four next time. Uh, today we're going to be doing a 45 degree explosion step drill. Uh, there's two parts of this, and we'll see them now. All right, boys, first portion of this drill is to get on one leg, and we're just looking to explode off of that outside leg. We're going to get our hands up. We're going to get to the next cone. We're looking to reset at the next cone. We're not just looking to run to the next one. We're landing and resetting. Exploding out. On the next version of this drill, we want to square up to this cone, and now we're looking to step or push off our outside leg and then trail step with it. It looks like this. Again, I'm resetting. I'm punching my hands across my body to get there. Hey, 
recapping the 45 degree explosion step drill. Uh, some of the things he did really well in that drill uh, were exploding his hands. Driving your hands to the spot that you're trying to go helps your legs to get there. Right, we, we call we call it uh, follow with your head, also lead with your head, same thing, right? Explode out with your hands, explode and follow with your head. He did that in that drill, great job. We're gonna be doing a variation of the egg toss drill. We're only gonna be using our top hand dominant here. If you're left-handed, right, it's our top hand dominant drill here. Well, this is our varied uh, two ball egg toss drill. He's gonna keep his hand high up, his dominant hand up high. I'm gonna be going underhand here, here we go. Notice I'm going stick side high for the majority of them, but then I can also start going off side high and start working all of his spots here. Right? Normally we do egg toss and we both have two balls. This one we're just going one ball. We go anywhere here, he has to react to where the ball is going. Here we're gonna be going over our five point arc drill. Arc. Let's get it. So he's gonna start pipe. As I say go, he's gonna to go to the next one. Go ahead. Go. 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 Good. So Shane just did a, a great job of showing us how to walk the arc. Guys, recapping our five-point arc drill here. Uh, main things you want to think about is each point in the arc is where you're trying to make a save from live in a game. So you don't really want to make saves anywhere in the cage. You want to have your five main points in the arc, and this drill is to help you do that. Right, here's a little bit more of the ten-point arc drill. So we're going to renumber those drill, these cones again. We're going to go with one on the far side, two, three in the middle again, four, and five. Uh, he's going to be working from the small or the small arc, the close arc to the far arc. Five. One. Four. Good. So what we're going to be doing is our turn and save it drill. This drill can be done uh, where you, the goalie doesn't know where he's going and where he does know where he's going. And we'll see him right, both. Boys, here's the first portion of the turn and save it drill. Uh, what I'm going to do first, or what the shooter's going to do first, is actually going to tell the, the goalie where he's shooting. So here we go. High to high. Good. Top left. Bottom right. Good. Top right. Good. For the second portion of this drill, now I'm just going to say turn. The goal is just going to turn around. He's going to have to make. He's just going to have to make the read. Here we go. Turn. 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 Hey guys, recapping the turn and save a drill. Remember, there's two parts of this drill. You can either. Uh, know where the ball is going, where the, sh the shooter is actually telling you where the ball is going, or you can actually just turn and save the random shot. Hey guys, doing the one-handed saves drill here. We're going to start with our goalie using his top hand only. He's still going to be doing his goalie motion. Let's see it. more on that offside hip. Good. You can get low here. Good offside foot. Good. All right. I see your bottom hand now. So what I have goalies do here is they're going to get in their goalie ready position with both hands on their stick. And then they're going to release their top hand from their stick. We're going to go high to high. There it is. Goalies are learning how to use what hand for how to, what makes the save. Go a couple to the hips here. Good, I got one. Offside hip. All right, here you go, going to the foot here. Hey guys, Matt Crisball here with Sweet Life Academy. We're gonna be doing the UVA drill. I learned this from Kip Turner himself. Boys, here's the UVA drill. We're gonna use the number one as a drop, and we're gonna use the number two as a circle or run around the goal and get back into position. Ready? One. Here's two. Two. One more, one more variation of this drill. We're gonna do two and we can shoot the ball when the goal is not necessarily in the cage just yet. Two. 
Hey guys, going over the UVA drill. Uh, remember you want to designate two numbers here, one for dropping and two for running around the cage. Thanks. Uh, this drill is called the Bad Andy. I actually got this from Goalie Smith. Andy drill, first thing you're going to want to do is set up around five. You can do it with as many balls as you want. I have five balls here. You're going to set them up on different parts of the goal that aren't inside of the crease. Okay. What the goalie is going to want to do here is he's going to want to go through a ball and make an outlet or a high pass or a Bad Andy, a bad pass to the shooter. He's gonna make the pass, sprint back in the cage, get set and make a save. He's gonna do that for five of the balls and that's it. Come on, next ball. saves with our short stick. Uh, recapping the four portions of our offside hip progression drill. First portion is going to be cone covers, offside hip, then we're going to go into uh, catching the ball, egg toss, offside or bottom hand, and then we're going to do uh, butt end, offside, and then we're going to do a short stick, offside. Let's Thanks. go over the offside hip rapid fire drill. Right, boys, to start this drill, you want to get the goalie on his knees, offset of the center of the cage so he has more space the passer or shooter has more space to throw the ball's offside hip. Here we go. Hey guys, recapping the offside hip rapid fire drill. Uh, what you want to do is you just want to grab as many balls as you can, whether it's tennis balls or lacrosse balls, and you just want to have your partner throw the balls on the offside hip as fast as, you, as fast as he can so you can make as many saves as you can. Action. All right, boys, here's the butt end drill. We're just going to use the butt end of any stick. If you can get yourself a weighted shaft, like a power shaft, that'd be the best. But if not, just grab yourself a short stick and just use the butt end to make saves Action. with it. All right, so similar to all of our shooting drills, we can put the ball wherever we want and have the goalie guessing, or we can start the drill by telling where, telling the goalie where the ball is actually going to go. So for the first portion of the drill, we're going to tell the goalie where the ball is going. Here we go. Stick side hot. Offside hot. Stick side hip. Offside hip. All right, recapping the butt end drill. What you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna grab a short stick or flip your stick upside down, use the butt end of it to make saves. What you're doing here is a shuffle, shuffle, save drill. What you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to shuffle out, shuffle back in, make a save. Then you're gonna shuffle out the other side, shuffle back in, make a save. One of the points I wanna make in this drill to make it a little bit more difficult for you is when you push out, look at the leg I'm pushing off of. Now look at the leg I'm pushing off of. I want to make the save off the opposite leg that I just got here with. All right, boys, to start this drill, the goal is going to shuffle out. When he shuffles back in, I'm going to shoot the ball from in the same side that he shuffled back in from. Let's see it. Ready? Go. Shuffle out. Good. Now we're going to go opposite. The goal is going to shuffle out. I'm going to shoot the ball opposite of where he just came from. Go. swat or cone catch drill here it is this drill is a cone swat so right in the beginning i'm going to grab half the stack of cones i'm going to fling them at chain he's just looking to use his hand speed to knock the cones out of the air here we go Second half of this drill is you're going to grab the second half of the cones now, Shane. I'm going to toss them a little bit softer. Shane's looking to snag them or catch them out of the air. Here we go. Again, still working on that hand-eye coordination, tracking that cone all the way in, attacking the ball or attacking the cone when we need to. Nice guy to me. Uh, next drill we're going to be doing is a tennis racket drill. We're just going to be uh, shooting balls at the goalie with our tennis racket. Hey boys, here's our tennis racket drill. We're just going to grab a tennis ball, 
uh, some tennis balls and a tennis racket. We're going to sling some balls at the goalie. I like to do this drill three balls at a time. The goalie has to be set and ready for three balls, and then he can kind of have a little bit of time to reset. Here we go. Good save. Hey, boys, just recapping the tennis racket drill. Uh, you just want to grab as many tennis balls as you can. Maybe your mom or your dad knows how to hit a tennis racket. Give it a go. We'll be going over today is lateral cone covers and lateral cone digs. Very similar to the other drill we've done in the past. Instead of going 45 degrees up, we're going to be 40. We're just going to be going laterally sideways. Here's the drill. Reset. Laterally this way. Then you're going to want to toss your stick over to the side. Set up your cone flips. Mind you, you want to do that about like 15, 20 reps and then do this. Reset. Attack the same one. Reset. Attack laterally. Reset. 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 